Brokathia Hawa, Brokathia Hawa Shai, Brokathia Hawa, Brokathia Hawa Shai, Brokathia Hawa, Brokathia Hawa Bashim Yon Shai Bahashim, Rokaku Dash. The blinds to the apostles and the elders of Great Mill Summer Well, Citations to the whole elect out there. You ask him to Sadak him that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. On the pre Shaman, this week's topic is going to be entitled IMF Ready for a New World Monetary System. Land backing off this video here that, that was put up by the uneducated economist entitled The New Bretton Woods Agreement. Well, <coughs> IMF International Monetary Fund was formed after uh, the Bretton Woods Agreement, if my memory serves me correctly. And in the Bretton Woods Agreement, pretty much uh, Nixon got together with these other nations in Bretton Woods, New Hampshire. And pretty much what they did was they took the dollar or the world reserve currency off some sort of gold standard and we had true fiat currency um currency that really wasn't backed by tangible assets and he says this is going to be a new Bretton Woods agreement where the world banks are going to come together um under the guise of this phony baloney, phony baloney crisis known as covid to issue a world a new world monetary system because digital currency is not something that we are hoping to see digital currency is already here you know if you have a credit card that's digital currency uh, everything's pretty much going di digital and payments are done digitally nowadays right if you have the new game console they got the ps5 coming out one's gonna have cds one's gonna just go strictly digital you also have um you know you go to a restaurant all the Ariala was making a point in the chat. Um, you know, you go to these restaurants, and it's true, I've been to them. You pull up your menu digitally. You know, you scan the barcode, your menu comes up. So everything is being geared towards a digital system. Now, they, they created a crisis to where they seem like they need a bailout. But, you know, to, to fix this current problem, look, man, banks, they don't want these people paying their mortgages, right? They don't want nobody. They don't want these companies that are going under and bankrupt find the money they want it to go bankrupt because that benefits you when you purchase the new asset at a deeply discounted price and then they plan to reopen it you know and profit again so that's 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 their agenda so you have all these businesses that are going out wiped out pretty much um if you were leveraged up had debt didn't have any money saved up didn't have any cash on hand you're going under whether you're a small business owner or a homeowner and in doing so um, they're going to make um, large corporations which they control, your Whole Foods, um, your Amazons, your BJs, your Costco's, your Walmarts. Let those be deemed essential because that way it's a lot easier to issue in a cashless system when you don't have a small business, business owner on the street operating, right? And the end-all, be-all goal is, as we've been saying, the apostles, the elders, the brothers of Great Millstones for a very long time, mainly the apostles, and the elders, that this um, is all road leading to the RFID microchip, which is a system that is biometric um, monetary system where you're going to pay everything via digital chip, not a digital chip, but an actual tangible chip that will do digital, digital trans, uh, transactions through uh, being implemented in any parts of your body. If you take this action, if you go ahead with this action, you're slated for destruction. You've just taken the mark of the beast, all right? And that's the breakdown of the mark of the beast. It's the RFID microchip that you read about in Revelation 13 chapter and the 16th verse. Now, the Mosai is going to make this thing come to pass, um, this new monetary system. But there's going to be some sort of resistance. You know, not everybody's going to just go along with it. And I'm gonna, we're going to go through a few scriptures to, see, to show you that there's nothing new under the sun, as it says in the book of Ecclesiastes. And this old one world government, one world currency, one everything is nothing new. This is Genesis chapter 11, verse 1. And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And at that time, that was Hebrew, right? They all spoke Hebrew. Um, the modern day version of that. I mean, after that, you had the Greek language when um, Alexander conquered the world, had everybody speaking Greek or knowing some form of Greek. But in today's time, this is English. You know, it's the world language. The, the, the new Babylonian language is English. 
which is an almagon of different languages throughout the ages, but all nations um, have to speak some form, of, some form of English. The apostles always bring out the fact that um, aerial uh, language, the language of the air, is English. It says the world and the world er, and, like, and the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar and they dwelt there. And Shinar should be modern day Iraq. Let me take a look here. I've got the maps. Uh, Shinar. What is that? It's, uh, Shinar. Yep. Shinar is in modern day Iraq. You can see it. Close to uh, Baghdad, right? Um, yeah, man, Iraq is a pivotal land in, uh, throughout the Bible. It's also where Abraham was from. All right, getting back to the point. In the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there, it says, And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone and slime. And they and, and slime had they for mortar. And they said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach onto heaven. So this is your modern day UN United Nations building. Um they were, you know, saying let's build the tower just in case a flood happens again. We won't be scattered, you know, we'll build it so high that if the flood come, um, we could all still rule. And this is a nation speaking. I mean it these are the, the, the heads of the different nations because by nature, nobody want to click up with nobody, right? You know, different nations, you know, I have a prime example, you know, you don't want to eat, if you're of the respective tribe, you don't want to eat uh, some nasty ass food of another nation. You want to click up with your own people. But these are the, the elites of these nations, uh, the ones high up in power, contemplating, let us, um, you know, create some type of government. Uh, where we shall rule because it says and they said to and they said go to let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven and let us make us a name lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth and the lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men see so, so that's the nations right there the children of men build it right so they actually got this thing done i mean they you know they, they came together uh, built this thing. The scriptures don't say how long it took, but they eventually they, they got it done. You know, establishing that universal power, right? That one world uh, power over there in the Middle East. All right. So you can see that no matter where the Mosai scatter these nations, eventually they're going to try to come together in defiance of the Mosai, unite um, the ruling powers that is um, against the Heavenly Father. It says in the Lord. In defiance of the Heavenly Father too. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language. And this they begin to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Right. So when human beings get together, for the most part, it's to deceive, uh, device, wickedness, man. Um, whether the head be the Hamites, the head be the Edomites, the head be the Ishmaelites, the head be whatever nation, man. Even Israel could be wicked as hell. When they get together, it's for vanity, madness, and the Most High wasn't with it. So that right there lets you know that the Heavenly Father is a separatist, a racist. Okay, he's in favor of it. You know why? Separation creates order. I always use this example: if you were to go into your mall and you desperately needed the item, you know, imagine there was no aisles. Imagine nothing was grouped together. Imagine clothes was with milk, toothpaste was with uh, radios. Just com utter confusion. Everything was mixed together, you know. You have pet food with Listerine. You would know where the hell to find anything. It would be cut utter confusion when you combined everything together. Same thing, too, when you have your clothes put together in your different dresses. You have your boxes in one section, your pants. You might have your coats on a hanger. Now, what if you just went in your room and everything was jumbled together? You know, coats with socks. You would just be confused. So when you separate things, it creates order. And these nations are not with, and with order. <clears throat> it says, "Go to, let us go down. Let, go to, let us go down." So that Lord that you're reading above, 
um, and God. Let's talk about the powers, all right? Uh, coming down and confined the angels, confining man's language. And they confounded their language that they may not understand one another's speech. You know, this created some sort of order, you know, that they won't come together, unite, do madness like they're doing today with this new uh, IMF uh, monetary system that they're coming together with. Uh, this whole one world money, one world everything. And yes, it, within them themselves, there's um, feuds. Um, they do fight. You know, I don't want people thinking, um, yes, they have a one world agenda in mind, but they, they fight, man. You know, you look at this new president, you look at the presidential campaign that's going on. Um, there's so-called Jews back in Biden. There's so-called Jews back in Trump, both Zionists, right? But um, they have different views, right? Like Rupert, Rupert Murdoch, who runs um, Fox and owns Fox and the New York Post, uh, which that media is back in Trump. He's not in agreement with the Zionist so-called Jews that run, you know, CNN and leftist media and MSNBC. You know what I'm saying? So they all have one goal, but they just fight over who shall rule. So it's the same shit. It's the same thing. It's the same thing they did in Rome. Same thing they did as the Greeks. They were all Edomites, but they all they were fighting over who should issue in this one world government after Alexander died. So it's the same thing going on today. You know, they have their different puppets, you know. So within this um, new monetary system that they're creating, if you've been watching what Fed Chairman Powell has been speaking about, which is the current head of the Federal Reserve, he's been speaking about, we have to get it right. And un uneducated economists were saying, look, when the way Fed Chairman Fed Chairman Powell speaks, it seems like he they sp they've been thinking about this thing for a very long time, you know, and um with the United States being the uh, world reserve currency, you got to understand these other nations have to follow behind the U.S. dollar. Prime example is Switzerland. Switzerland had a very strong currency, um, but they had to devalue their currency to keep up with the United States dollar because when somebody was to go to Switzerland, they couldn't afford anything because they couldn't afford Swiss watches, uh, Swiss uh, products, uh, Swiss clothing, uh, because their currency was so strong. Nobody could afford it when they went over there. So to continue businesses, they had to devalue their own currency just to match the world currency, which is the United States dollar. So it's like, how much more can this thing be devalued, right? So this collapse is being done by design. Really, the most high is behind everything. So there's nothing um, being done by accident. You know, even these phony crises that they put together, it's the most high putting that in their mind. It says, go to, let us go down and there confound their language. That they may not understand one another's speech. And that's how you have all these different languages today. So the most I could separate these nations and create some type of order again. Now in the kingdom of heaven, you know, the universal language will be Hebrew. But this time it's going to be done in order because it will be a language. Um, the pure language. But um, guess what? You nations are going to be doing your own thing. You're not going to be uh, huddled up together. You're going to, you're going to have your borders. All right, and you're gonna come under the power. Uh, the uh, you're gonna be under the power, under the rulership of the Most High and His people, being forced to um to keep these laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of your abilities, even though you'll never keep them perfect. It says, go to, let us go down, and there confound their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. <clears throat> so the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth and they left off to build the city therefore the name of the the name of it is called babel which means uh confusion you know you got an app that teaches you every language and then guess what they call the app the app is called babel so that's just straight mocking the most high you know that's esau being a, doing his bullshit but you're not supposed to be i mean yeah it's cool to know different languages but you know really um, the most I just want you sticking to your people, you know what I'm saying? Sticking to your culture. That's how things are supposed to be done. And in the kingdom of heaven, ultimately this bastard tongue is going to be done away with. We're going to speak, be speaking the Lashon Kadash, the true proper Hebrew. Because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth. And from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad from the face of all the earth. And the most is going to do the same thing again. The most is going to have them come together just to break them up. And uh, this scripture was for the whole monetary system and the fiat currency. 
that I was speaking about earlier, precept for that was Genesis 13 and 2, is Genesis 13 and 2, and it says that Abraham was rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold. So riches ultimately should be the, this riches should ultimately the, the, the riches should ultimately be decided by tangible assets. All right. Not word of mouth. Okay. Cattle, silver, and gold. And the thing about these um assets right here that are linked to riches is they're they're not infinite, right? You can't mine infinite amount of gold. You can't mine an infinite amount of silver. You can't have infinite cattle. You know? There's sort of a checks and balances that goes there. So the Mosai was with that, you know? Whether it be a bartering system where you were trading corn, uh, car, uh, corn. well, they didn't have corn over there. But you was trading like uh, barley for, uh, let's say you was trading, um, well, you wouldn't trade wheat for barley. Let me see. Let me think of an example. Okay, so whether you'd give like um, a certain amount of barley for livestock, you know, or a certain amount of livestock for gold and silver, there was always limited supplies of these things, man. Okay, but now you have a dollar system, a monetary system where, you know, you could print infinite amount of it. That's not true wealth. That's not true riches, according to the Bible. You know, this is what causes hyperinflation, uh, hyperinflation and debt. Another example to link with Genesis, and I mentioned it. I mentioned another one in um, 1 Maccabees 1 and 41. 1 and 41 it says moreover king antiochus uh he came out the line of the seleucids um which was seleucus was one of alexander's four generals that was in that war um it was called the war of the five kings which would be uh and uh let me try this you know if not you can look it up in your own it's ptolemy it was uh seleucus cassander uh, Ptolemy, Seleucus, Cassander, Antigonus, and uh, Orontigus, and uh, <laughs> oh man, that's for Cassander, Ptolemy, oh, and like, 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 like Emmaus. Okay, bother me, I didn't touch that history in a long time. If you on the to the point channel, we went through the history, so I think we might have quoted those five generals, but anyways, um, out of that, <laughs> out of that line came an even more wicked root, which is Antiochus Epiphanes. And, um, yeah, he had the same um, ideology as his forefathers, the same idea as Seleucus, and Seleucus had the same idea as Alexander, which was to make all the people one under this Greek wisdom, this Greek philosophy that they came up with, uh, which was madness. And um, guess what? The Mosai brought that to naught. So the Mosai is going to do the same thing with these devils after the chip was implemented on a worldwide level. You know, and as far as digital currency goes, I mean, shit, the digital currency itself is not the mark of the beast, right? Because we use digital currency now. You know, you hop in a Lyft or Uber, you're not giving the guy cash. You know, you grub hub and you're, you know, the most, most of the way things are done today is already through a digital currency. It's putting that RFID microchip in your skin. That's the action. It, that's the mark of the beast. And there's no repenting of that, man. There's no cutting off your arm or cutting off the body part and cleaning onto the Lord. Once you do that, it's similar to the action of Judas betraying the Lord, you know, which though he sought repentance, he wasn't given to him because that act was committed. So it's the same thing, man. Don't commit that act. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rekakwadash, the blindness of the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone with Jubel, and salutations to the hopeful elect out there. You Akim to Zadakim that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. Shalom.